Hello, this is Joshua Techtopia TV, and today I'm going to do a video on the Google Gboard for iOS. Now, this is a new keyboard that uh, came out for iOS on Thursday, I believe, is whenever it launched. And I have been using it ever since, and I got to say that I love it. Um, coming from Android after several years, five, six years or so, seven, eight years, something like that, of being on Android and coming over to an iPhone for the first time, the one thing I couldn't stand was the keyboard selection. Um, yeah, you had swipe, you had, fle uh, what is it, flexi. Um, you also had, I think, uh, swift key. Yeah, swift key was the other one, and of course, the stock keyboard, which a stock keyboard is good. I know that it's a, it's a good keyboard, but it doesn't allow for the glide or swipe typing. And I absolutely love the swipe typing, so, I looked for a board. I used Swipe for a while, or Swift Key for a while because I believe it was free. And then I bought Swipe because Swift Key was inaccurate. And I had loads of issues. So eventually I just went to back to the regular standard iOS keyboard. And then I ended up with Microsoft Wordflow. Um, I got into the beta for that and I used that. And I absolutely loved that keyboard. But the thing is, is that what I didn't like about it was I didn't really care for the accuracy. Like a lot of times I would have to go back on a keyboard. So now Google releases the Gboard for iOS. So I've been using it, having a lot of fun with it. And I got to say, it's a pretty good keyboard. So let's get into the settings first. So that way we can show what this looks like. So in the settings, you, or in the app, you have the keyboard settings, search settings, feedback, learn more, privacy policy, and terms of service. So in the keyboard settings, we have the typical things, glide typing, emoji suggestions, auto correction, auto capitalization, block offensive words, character preview, enable caps lock, show lowercase letters, and period shortcut, and clear my dictionary. So you have all the typical things in the search settings. You have predictive search, uh, contact search, and turn off location access and settings, and clear search history. So all the typical settings that you would expect. So not going to really dive into those too much because they're pretty much what you'd expect them to be. So I'm going to go to my Twitter feed just so I can show you the keyboard. So now this is what the keyboard looks like. So it looks like, almost like the iOS keyboard, but it has this little G icon up here, and that is basically a quick Google search. So it brings everything that the Android keyboard did on, on, on Android, or the Google keyboard did on Android, to iOS, but it also brings the, some of the best features of Google Now, which came with Android Marshmallow, to iOS. So now, if you're in the middle of typing something, and you're in a conversation, you can hit this little Google thing and it brings up a Google search right in the middle. So then you can type, I don't know, anything. Let's just say Subway. So you can search for Subway and it'll bring up cards for Subway. So if you're like looking for a location for one that you want to meet at or whatever, then you can do that. Um, anything you really want, like, uh, let's type in, oops, not in there. Let's go back to the G menu. Let's go to, I like, I searched, uh, MLG earlier for some CSGO news that I was reading about. There you go. MLG announces talent for CSGO America's minor championship. So I can share this. If I click share, it automatically puts the link up there. So that way I can go ahead and send that link and I can tweet it out, do whatever. There you go. Now the card is the card shows up. So now it's a card and I can just tweet that out if I really wanted to, which I'm obviously not going to, but it's very, very accurate. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. I literally haven't, I don't think I've had to fix a mistype on this keyboard yet. I've always been fond of the Google keyboard. It was always super accurate for me. It was really fast. I've never had any kind of problems with it. <clears throat> see, super fast. Let's see. I am typing this with Google 
G board. Double tap for that and tweet it out. There you go. So a quick video, I just want to show you. It's free in the App Store. Um, let me see, I'll, I'll show you really fast. It's uh, a great, I, I mean, a really a great app uh, or a great keyboard. A lot of people are talking about it. Now, the one thing that I've noticed that really kind of irritates me with um, iOS and Apple is that they they don't, they, they just refuse to let you um, or let third-party keyboards use dictation, and I, I I don't I don't understand why. Like I really wish a third-party keyboards. I mean, they say it's for privacy and blah 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 blah, but I mean, I really wish that you could have the microphone icon. You just hit the button and do the speech to text because I use that a lot more often than I thought I did until I went back to a board that doesn't have it, and then I realized how much I really actually use it. So anyway, this has been uh, the G Google G Board for iOS. If you're looking for a good uh, gesture or sl sliding, swiping, gliding, typing type board uh, for iOS and you haven't been happy with the other results and you want one that's super fast, super accurate and has Google searches, you can search for emojis right in there. You can search for GIFs right in there. You can search for anything that you can search for on Google and immediately share it with whoever you're having a conversation with. And it works in every single app. So you can Google search at any point and just throw it up there on Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, um, I mean, iMessage, regular messenger, I mean, everything. It just works on everything. So it's a great board. This has been Josh with Techtopia TV and the Google G board. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.